guys, um, it's Sylvia and Savannah and we've had a few people ask for us to video a tutorial on how I do her hair and makeup. So I'm going to do um, her cheer pony. Um, it's a straight teased pony and I'm going to show you guys that today. The first thing to get a really great high pony um, that's centered is whenever you put the ponytail in, make sure that it is pair, or, um, straight up and down from the ear and in the center of the face. If you have it uh, towards the back of the head, then it's gonna kind of shoot out backwards and not be straight up on the top of the head. So she has a lot of hair, so I usually start with a half pony in the front, pull it up and then pull the back to it. Um, so she's actually has like four bands in her hair right now. Um, secure the uh, tailless bows back from the back underneath with a bobby pin, um, that way it doesn't slide. So I'm going to have her face this way, her whole body please. That way you guys can see how I get started. So I put all of the hair forward and I will start with little sections. And I have two hairsprays that I'll be working with today. The first one is Redken Control Addict. It's a high control um, finishing spray. And then I have the Redken Triple Tra Take 32. Um, it's another high hold, but it's more of a working spray. What working spray means is that you can spray it and then still kind of move it around while it's drying. Um, the finishing spray, once you spray it, you need to be done because the hair is not gonna move after that. So that's, I'm gonna be working, teasing with the Triple Take, and um, I'm gonna finish with the uh, Control Addict. Um, people use different brushes. I've noticed that the kind of older lady teasing comb seems to work the best and it also makes it easy for it to come out um, afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray her hair first just at the base and I'm, like I said I'm taking little sections and hold, you're going to hold it up or over direct it because whenever you do that the hair will come back more um, it'll get more of like the rounded and you'll get that uh, height at your base instead if you're back here then it's just kind of kind of jut out and we want it to be up as high as possible so I'm just gonna tightly hold uh, her hair at the top and then I'm gonna gently tease front and back and then face here and then whenever I finish teasing then I kind of separate it out and spray it so now I'm gonna spray again I'm gonna take another section. How do you time lapses when it's going? You just stop it. Okay, it's okay. So again, kind of in the front and then in the back. Okay, again. And then pull it up. There's an extra to get it. It's okay. I'm gonna tease in the back, tease in the front. So the main thing is, is um, whenever you're doing it this way, to really get a good tease at the base, but then leave your ends nice and smooth. Uh, I usually will flat iron her while her hair is down, and then pull her up. That way, it's nice and straight. It's kind of hard to get a good uh, straighten whenever it's in a ponytail already. And then, of course, if the hair's got any kind of wave, uh, it's not gonna look like a straight teased pony. It's gonna look like a curly pony that fell out. And keep going. And once you get used to it, this really isn't gonna take a lot of time. I can usually do her hair and makeup, full makeup in about an hour. Notice that I'm only spraying um, at her root, the base, because there's no need of getting her ends all sprayed up right now. See how that's already starting to really get some height and fullness? Okay, and then this end is made to kind of pick up and set where you'd like the hair to go. So 
it's important not to over wrap the hair. That's kind of what I was talking about, just holding the top pretty tight and then teasing it down. That way these top pieces still stay. Because even from the back, she's got movement in this bottom. You want to make sure that you check yourself often um, in a mirror to make sure that you're not going sideways. It is easy to get off track and have one side larger than the other. make sure that it's definitely higher than the bow that way it sticks out on the top of the bow separate it you guys see that I mean it's only been seven minutes since we've started and I almost have her Whole ponytail teased. to have her uh, sitting on the toilet that way she's lower because her hair's so long <laughs> I feel like I'm standing on my tippy toes and looks a little bumpy but it's gonna get smoothed out when oh yeah yeah we don't really worry about the lumps and stuff underneath because this last piece of hair that we're gonna use smooths all of that out So on this front piece, you're not going to tease the front. You're only going to do a really light, turn your, turn your head to this way, a really light back comb on the back side. That way you can okay, I'll face this way. slowly pull all that hair back and smooth it out over the top. And this is when I'm using, you know, the kind of metal prongs. Yep. Just kind of separate it out. See that's nice and smooth now. So I'm gonna spray a little bit with this spray just so I can keep moving, get all these flyaways back. take my finishing spray and I'm going to spray face this way I'm gonna spray kind of like the middle of her head and up I'm not gonna spray down at the bottom because I want that to be able to move um, whenever she's in the air alright so now I'm gonna show my little trick so I'm going to Right, like stick the 
tying's kind of right in. I see how I can move it, and then I'm gonna spray it and just let it sit. And you can fix some of the flyaways, but um, pretty much that is how I do her cheer hair. So, um, yeah, turn around, let them see the back, and shake your head just a little bit. See how she has movement in the bottom, and then it's a little stiffer up at the top. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it's easy to follow and we're going to get ready and do another video for makeup. Bye. Bye.